Hey guys, welcome back to Math Apple 101, and today we are going to be talking about 2D versing 3D shapes. So now in this video, we are going to distinguish and find the difference between 2D and 3D shapes. So basically, and also, we are also going to talk about on what is a 2D shape and what is a 3D shape, and what are the differences. And now let's get right into the video. So, okay, so 2D shapes, um, it basically means two-dimensional or flat, no depth or thickness. So, for example, some examples of 2D shapes are a pancake because in here it's flat and there's no depth or thickness. So, you can't really see um, any depth here. Uh, and it's not really thick um, in this case, so this would be 2D. So, so this pancake is a two-dimensional shape. And here, this smiley face, um, it's also flat. This is a flat smiley face. Uh, and, and there's no depth or thickness. And what I mean by depth or thickness, it means like it's not exactly like deep. I, I was going to say is that... It would be, um, if it's like this, if there was, like, depth or thickness, like, if it was, like, something like this, then, then this wouldn't be a, a 2D shape. But since, oh yeah, but since it doesn't have that, it is a 2D shape. Now, here we have a very weird and scary little, um, triangle, um, a triangle smiley face. And this is 2D because, as as our definition states, it's flat and it doesn't have any depth or thickness. And this triangle, it, um, it's flat and um, and it works. But in okay, wait. So how does all of this um how does all of this even correspond or like have anything to do with math at all? Well, um, as you might know, um. 2D is a type of shape, and uh, uh, and there are many shapes in math. Like for example, this is a triangle, this is a circle, that is a square, this is a pentagon, that is a rectangle, and that is a hexagon. And these are all geometric math um, shapes that you will see um, in math. So, and that is why it's important. And that is why it's important to know 2D, and also. Um, and also, some vocabulary, some mathematical, some mathematical vocabulary you might see. It's area and perimeter. Well, well, actually, the space, the space inside a two D shape is called the area, and the length around it, it's called the perimeter. So area, also area and perimeter, they both specifically apply to two D shapes. So that's great. And, um, yeah, and for example, like here, this is a 2D shape because it's flat and there's no depth. And here, um, the space inside it is called the area. So basically, all the space inside this 2D shape is the area, area, and, uh, um, and the length around it, the perimeter, um, um, and the length around, and the length around this 2D shape, it's called the perim it's called the perimeter sorry for the terrible handwriting but, and that is why it's important to know what 2d is so or so as we know a two-dimensional shape is flat no depth or thickness well three-dimensional shapes or 3d are the exact opposite it's basically um it's it's not flat and it has thickness slash depth and you could and you could describe it as being realistic. Well, not exactly realistic. I, I mean, like, it kind of is, but not exactly. So, for example, here. Here we have SpongeBob. And SpongeBob, here appears, is not flat. Because, as you can see, you can see the depth in this photo. Because, the, um, in this picture. Because, look, here you have um, ob um, a obvious sense of depth here. Now uh, you could um so you could see the depth that he has like right here. 
attached. So that is all depth. And also, you see here, oh, I'm just going to outline it, make it sure so it stands out. Here, you also have some, like, like the, and, and there's also a cube that is hidden by his yellow skin right here. And there's a cube here. And this is all, and this is also depth and, um, and thickness. So, Spongebob, um, my friend, he has, he is a 3D figure. And same thing with this awesome photo of 3D. Um, it also has thickness and depth. Uh, for example, there is, like, depth over here, there is depth over here, depth, thickness, and it's not flat at all, of course. Um, and there's, like, many examples of depth um, and, um, and thickness in this photo. So yeah, this is a 3D shape as as the picture shows. 3D, get it? Oh yeah, okay. So here, wait, but then again, how is 3D has anything to do at all with math? Well, just like 2D shapes, 3D shapes um, actually appear a lot in geometry and in math. So here, um, here are some three D shapes that you most likely would see in maths. For example, this is a square based pyramid, a triangular prism, a cone, a cuboid, a pyramid, a cube, a cylinder, and a sphere. So then, these are all geometric shapes that you will see in math lots of uh, times. But then, just like um, well, just like here, you would hear area and perimeter up here. You would see like um you know like volume, um surface area and perimeter. Uh, so basically here you have a 3D shape. I try to draw it here, and um and the volume, it's it's basically the um it's the space inside here. So basically everything everything ev everything that's inside this um it's it's not like area because this time it's a 3D shape, not 2D. Like, but the space on the surface, so basically, um, everything that is on the surface, n not what's inside, but just on the surface, that is called the surface area, as, um, as the name implies. But then, just like perimeter, oh yeah, but just like, just like perimeter for 2D shapes, um, it's a, it's the same thing for 3D shapes. So then, yeah, that is why, guys... Um, so now this video was really just for you to understand on what are two and three D shapes and how they and why and how they are important in the mathematical universe. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.